This brief tutorial will describe common errors in NQI reporting and how you can fix them. I want to start by reminding everyone that the improvement process is a marathon and not a sprint. This is an analogy that we use constantly as it relates to all of our quality improvement work. And it's important to remember that all aspects of quality improvement take time and repetition. It may take several times of reporting the data in order to report valid data. So the first common error that we observe in NQI reporting is that the number of unduplicated clients exceeds the number of visits. In this example, you can see that this school based health center saw 527 clients during the 2017-18 school year, but they reported only one visit. The number of visits should equal or exceed the total number of unduplicated clients. The second common error we observe is that the number of clients by gender and age do not add up to the total number of unduplicated clients. In this example, if you add the number of male clients and female clients, 380 and 393, it equals 773. This does not equal 815, which is reported as the total number of unduplicated clients. Similarly, if you add up the clients by age, 9 and 764, it equals 773. These two numbers should also add up to 815. The third common error is that a record is missing clients by age data. This data is required in order to report the well child visit and the BMI measures. The definition of the well child visit includes clients ages 0 to 21, and the definition of the BMI measures includes clients ages 3 to 17 years old. We use the data that's reported in the clients by age fields in order to calculate the denominators for well child visits and BMI measures. Because in this example that you can see, the data is missing for clients by age, it's not possible to calculate de the denominator for the measure and the report will be blank. The fourth common error we see in an SBHC's report is when they reported over 100% on a measure. As you can see in this example for the risk assessment, this SBHC reported that 153 clients had a risk assessment. However, they only reported that they saw 99 clients during the 2017-18 school year. This forces the calculation above 100% and therefore the report will be blank when you log in to see it. 